Hello and welcome back. Hope you are doing good. So far you have created a list fragment and you have created a detail fragment. And in the last video I mentioned that now we are going to look at how the two fragments communicate with each other because that's the that's one of the important things. So I do have a list fragment here and what I want is when I click on any of the items then the detail fragment should open with the corresponding details, right? So let's look at the code first. I'll explain the concepts and then we'll see it in action. Basically what I've done is in the list fragment, um, the way it works is, you know, the, the philosophy or the idea is that the two fragments should be unaware of each other. They should not be tightly coupled to each other, okay? So what we do is we want the fragment, say my fragment A wants to communicate to fragment B. So, so what I'll do is I'll let my fragment A communicate to the activity class and then the activity class in turn calls the fragment B. Okay. You might ask, but then fragment A and the activity class are tightly coupled, right? But the thing is that we'll be using an interface between the fragment and activity. So if you're familiar with the concept of um, interfaces, then you can understand that it, um, it does away with this, you know, tight coupling thing. So your fragment and your activity becomes decoupled. Now let's look at the code. What, what you're going to do is in your list fragment, you will be adding an interface. Okay. Now this code is available in GitHub. I'll provide the URL so you can take a look later. Okay. But the idea is that you create an interface. Okay. And add a method. Like I've created an interface employee list fragment interface. Okay, simple. And I've added a method call employee detail. Now the idea is when this method is called, then the main activity gets called and main activity calls the detail fragment. Okay, let, let me show you how this works. So now I've defined a reference to this interface here. Okay, so far so good. What I do is, um, when the on attach method is called for the fragment and if you remember on attach means when the fragment gets attached to the activity so suppose this fragment is a part of main activity which it which it is then in on attach method you have the main activity available and what you do is you assign the reference this main activity object okay so in after on attach this reference will be referring to the main activity object okay and after that the simple thing is like on list item click which gets called when you click on any of the items if you remember from our previous videos on list item click I simply call the call employee detail method on this interface okay which is this method now if you see the main activity class I have implemented this interface here because I want the main activity to handle this communication. Okay. Which in turn means that I implement the call employee detail method. So when you click, when a user clicks on the item, then this method will be called in main activity and it will in turn call the employee detail fragment. Okay. Now we look at how this, this part works, which is the fragment transaction that I'll look, I'll probably explain in the next video. For now, the thing is that we, if you have noticed, we are passing a index, which is the array index, the item which is clicked. Now this index, I want to be passed to the detail fragment. Okay. So if you see the detail fragment, and if you remember in the last video, we had this employee index defined. And based on this employee index, we are going to display the data. So the basic idea is that in your list fragment, you add an interface, okay? In the on attach method, you create a reference to the main activity. In the main activity, you implement this method and then it calls your detail fragment. So this is how the communication works. I know it might take some time for you to you know, understand this more clearly. So go ahead and spend some time on this. Um, you can refer to the code and the rest of this stuff, don't worry about it. We'll discuss it in the next videos. Okay, and uh, 
you will find the URL for the GitHub in the description. Um, and I've also explained this in my blog a little more deeply. So you can refer to the blog post as well. In the next video, we'll go further in this. Okay. Till then, take care.